There we go. Holy smokes, look at the size of that plunger tube. I mean, it is using all of that, as opposed to something like the... Here's something that I was probably the only person excited for, the Nerf Rebel Corner Sight. Why am I excited for this in some capacity? Well, because it, uh, looks cool in my opinion. Now, there's obviously the usefulness of the, you know, shooting around corners and whatnot, although, you know, you can guess how useful these little mirrors are gonna be for that. But it just looks cool. The silhouette of the blaster looks good, and sometimes that's all that matters to me. Now, it is advertising a 75-foot range, and I'm sure a lot of us are kind of wondering how this thing looks on the inside, although we can take a guess that there's going to be a plunger tube right here, some kind of vinyl tubing, and then a smart air restrictor system up here. And it's saying 40% of the darts land between the 70 and 80 foot ranges, so... One thing we didn't quite know, seeing pictures of this, is that it has storage for darts in the uh, little underside right here. But this whole grip right here is the whole reason I bought it. It just looks comfy and... Eh, maybe it can be saved. Maybe you can, if you want to, like, get rid of the... The corner sight mechanism, you might be able to make it hit hard and look cool i don't know it just it just seems awesome to me so in the package you get obviously the blaster and four pink darts with blue tips which we will now load into the blaster and does the cardinal sin of having the darts stick out like way too far out of the muzzle which always upsets me and it is well unreasonably comfy very, 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 very comfy, although a bit small, it fits me perfectly because of my babyish hands, and please tell me there's a film on that. Yep, there's a film. Good. Ah, it still looks like garbage. They are spring-loaded, and uh, it's like looking through a funhouse mirror. I don't know if that's going to show up on camera, but it is horrible. Um... Jeez. Let's try this one. Eh, just as bad. Yep, it's like looking through a funhouse mirror. I don't know how you're supposed to see anything through that. Maybe it's just mine, but that is garbage. Oh well, not really worried. That's just something that'd probably be cut off anyway. But the gimmick is that if I rotate it, aha! Well, that is a 90 degree angle. And it seems to only snap in 90 degree angles. Hmm. Well, dart storage. Interesting little system they have here. How come it only has dart storage for two? I don't know. For those wondering, this is $20 on Amazon, which is a little bit much for what this thing is, but maybe it's good. Okay, the Prime is pretty heavy, honestly. And... Hmm. That didn't feel all that powerful to me. Let me take uh, one of the Elite Darts here. And I'm going to shoot it off into the distance. Uh, I wouldn't say... I'd say that's a little bit under Elite Ranges. That seems like... Almost like stock... Uh, Stock hammer shot ranges to me. Not terrible, but definitely not that good. I don't have a chronograph yet working on it, but he doesn't have to take my word for it. It, uh... Ooh, that shot was a lot more powerful. Eh, that one was pretty weak. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, ranges are okay, but of course something like this, it's most likely because there's some kind of tubing in the middle there, so... Out of the box, I mean, you do get the gimmick of shooting at 90 degree angles. Which works pretty darn well. There's no power drop off or anything right there. <laughs> uh, it, uh, yeah. It, uh, yeah. 
that's that's annoying. That's pretty annoying. No locking mechanism, so it's like a it's like a fish. The center locking is not very good at all. That is a that is a problem. But it looks cool. It looks really cool. I I can't stress that enough. It is very comfortable. But how does it look on the inside? That is a great question that we are going to have to answer. And on the inside... I don't know. Oh, Nerf, what are you doing in the front here? There we go. Don't want to lose that. Yeah, that's a pretty interesting system right there. Uh, it's kind of what you expect. It just looks well designed, but I'm seeing an elbow right here, which is not cool because that means there's going to be... Is there another? Nope. There's going to be a bend in this where... Yep, there we go. Holy smokes, look at the size of that plunger tube. Holy crap! That is massive. There's the trigger sear right there. I'll have to figure out how that goes back in. That plunger tube is huge. That is, uh, that's pretty darn big. I think that's about the same size as the sledge fire. So, hey, if you wanted to single this thing with a big spring, I mean, it's not overall massive. Let's, uh, let's take a... Here is a fire strike plunger tube, and it is a. Uh, this is noticeably girthier, a little bit shorter, but noticeably girthier. Unfortunately, what's killing all your range is all this other crap right here, and then of course, this seal right here where it rotates around is probably not the best. Now, is there a way to take this system out? So that's a pretty pretty terrible idea for a seal right there and there's a obvious U-bed but look at the size of that plunger head now how the heck is it underneath nope it's held on just like a fire strike so you'd have to pry and twist you know it's getting all over my hands and the spring is not the strongest so there is Definitely some mod potential here. That is a big plunger tube. And the seal is pretty good right there, but I'm sure once you put this on there, that's where everything falls apart. I don't see any air release holes on this. Nope, I don't see any. So, I mean... Not too much you can do right there. I think most of the issue we're having is this U-bend with this rotating mechanism right here into the Smart AR. It's just not giving it the power it needs, but if you wanted to remove the, the corner shot mechanism, you know, cut this off right here. I don't think you could go back after doing that, but there is a lot of plunger volume right here to play with. I mean, it is using all of that, as opposed to something like the, again, the Fire Strike Plunger, where it's like half the plunger tube isn't doing anything. When you rotate it, clicks into place, that shouldn't be too difficult to figure out. I mean, it would still look pretty cool if you wanted to cut that off, because this handle is very, very nice grip, excuse me. Huh! Well, uh, that is pleasantly surprising. Not bad, not bad. So, while it's stock, it has a nice little gimmick, which probably wouldn't be useful anywhere except for like an indoor dart arena, or if you wanted to do some close quarters and you wanted to go up to a, uh, go up to some kind of, uh, oh good, you can just unscrew that and pull these out, great. Uh, go to a wall or something like that, like you're going around a corner and try to use this thing. These mirrors are crap, I can't state that enough. I can barely see anything through them. They're warped like a funhouse mirror. They are not very good, but I guess you could at least see something moving in them. 
but that plunger tube volume and the little cute dart storage down here I don't know why you would ever use that but <laughs> there's some interesting stuff going on with this blaster so again I found this on Amazon for $20 there'll be a link down in the description box below where you can purchase one yourself and it helps the channel out that plunger tube for a blaster this size, like I said, that's a sledge fire size plunger tube in my opinion. I don't have one immediately right here to compare, but that is a massive plunger tube for what we're getting. So keep that in mind, this may have uh, a mod coming just down the line because of how massive that plunger is. One more going over right here to show off the internals. If you're wondering where that spring loaded thing went to work the the twisty mechanism, that's it right there. And kind of probably, I mean, this thing's probably gonna end up singled, so I probably shouldn't worry about it, but it's a neat little concept. Welcome to the after show. It's several hours after I did my original unboxing and teardown of this thing, and I had to sit in front of the camera one more time before I upload this video to kind of give you my further thoughts on this after I've been playing around with it for hours, and my opinion can't get any more positive. I'm absolutely in love with what this thing is. Not only was it a shape I already knew I was going to like, but thankfully it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be and it fits me like a glove. It's, I've literally, there. I don't think there's another blaster in Nerf that looks this good in my opinion. This is of course my opinion, that's why I said it, but it's amazing. And on top of that, it has a little gimmick and we all know I like my gimmicks. I like my utility in my blasters and this doesn't really disappoint all that well. There we go. As I kind of just tried to demonstrate there, if you swing it down then up, there you go. Uh, you can get it to uh, snap back into place. I don't know why I'm having such a trouble. There we go. Getting it in the direction I want. You get it. The point is, is that not only does it do some pretty cool stuff, it has a tricky feel to it, which is something I enjoy. Not that the mirrors on it are any good. I haven't been able to hit anything with them at any angle, any range, because it just doesn't work. I mean, how can it see, you know, this direction while I'm seeing my face right now? But if I look at this direction, well, I'm seeing a box. But if I shoot at that box, I'll shoot three feet in front of it. So I don't really get it. I don't really think that's useful. Although it is nice, you can you can see around corners with it. It, it does have some kind of little use, but it's basically blind firing, which you could probably just do by, you know, reaching around a corner and shooting. But this doesn't expose you. And I think Bobo's crazy uh, sneak shot or whatever it was with the camera on it was a better design than this, but this is cheaper. So whatever. <laughs> My point is, is that this thing, not only does it have all of those features, not only does it look amazing, but the internals are incredible. It's got that massive plunger tube. The plunger tube is well rested. The reinforcements around it are great. And the priming mechanism, while the bar that is connected to the priming rod itself that pulls back the plunger tube, may use a little bit of reinforcement because it's kind of that hollowish bar. It probably doesn't need it right away. And the catch is the only part that I'm worried about, but in my logic, I think it works fine. So it's a, it's very similar to the messenger. It's got the trigger right here and you notice the trigger actually pulls upwards, kind of like an actual firearm. And on top of that, it's got a sear like mechanism right here. So right now there is a little point up right here and then it connects right down here. And when you pull the trigger, it obviously lifts that bar up, which pulls that end down. But the plunger rod has, a, it's basically a solid piece of plastic, but there's a hole in the very end of it where obviously that it will slide over that sear and then catch in. And I'm, while it, the torsion spring in there that reinforced that isn't that good, it's redirecting the energy into a different angle. So it might be able to hold up to pretty much anything. And that's a, uh, that might be either the crux or the gem of this entire blaster, getting it to hit like, you know, with a K26 or something like that. And the other thing I've noticed with this blaster is that the plunger tube, unlike every other Elite Blaster I've ever looked at, actually almost every blaster I've ever looked at, not only does it have a basically a 98, 95% air seal out of the box, but it's seal, it compresses air from the very edge of the plunger tube to the very front of the plunger tube. If you take any other blaster, any other plunger tube, and 
you start pushing that in, it doesn't compress air until the halfway to one third, one quarter mark. It's tapered to do that, which is really annoying. This doesn't do that. It's trying to get as much air power as possible because it has to go through all that bendy stuff and get decent distances as well, which is gonna work great for us, I hope. Basically, the mod idea for this thing right now is, uh, well, we're gonna have to remove these mirrors because they just get in the way. I want to keep this profile so the idea is I'm going to scrap the whole, uh, the, uh, a smart AR system. The smart AR system is going to go away. I'm going to delete that. And at the very front of the punch, I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to nestle in some 916 brass and then 1730 seconds inside of that to make my breach. And I'm going to run that all the way up to the front. And I'm going to cut a slot in the side so I can reach all that, which is going to be really difficult with this U-bend right there, which means I'm going to have to destroy this thing. But... Even with a stock spring, I'm, I'm expecting some great performance. And then, of course, you I, if I can find a spring that I can put in here, maybe something like the Duke spring that I have left, then I'll do it. But, and again, with something like that, well, this dart storage down here is kind of pointless with the whole, you know, four barrel smart AR thing. But with a single shot, bam, you've got your own self-contained package right there. So the corner shot is incredible. You need to buy one. It is probably going to be the next big thing in nerf modding and nerf in general. You're going to see a lot of people talking about how ridiculous this thing is. I'm going to I'm gonna hedge my bets on that. I, I'm making some bold claims there, I know. Walcom doesn't know anything. Uh, it, oh, it's, it's the Crimson Strike, Walcom. It's not the Red Strike, Longshot. It's the Crimson Strike. Screw you. You don't know what you're talking about. I can't do a simple Google search. Well, I'm going to make another bold claim and say this thing is probably going to be the next big thing in Nerf, so pay attention. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm sorry it's gone on entirely too long, but I do hope to see you in an entirely different one.